A minecart loading station for either a hop or a chest minecart should be fast and reliable. The first one is the easiest one, but has also two disadvantages. We need a powered rail and a block behind to send the full minecart back. On top we place a hopper. This comparator powers this block as long as there are items in the hopper. This redstone torch inverts the signal and this redstone this repeater powers the rail. So if there are items in this hopper, the powered rail is off and as soon as the minecart loaded all the items, the powered rail is on and the minecart gets sent back. This way a hopper minecart is fully loaded within 16 seconds. The first problem though is that if more items than a hopper minecart can hold get in this hopper, the contraption won't work anymore. So for example if we hook this up to an automatic farm or we put the chest above for a greater storage. The hopper minecart will take 5 stacks but if there are items remaining, the powered rail will never switch on. So this only works for small quantities of items. And if it used a chest minecart instead, it would take 11 and a half minutes to be fully loaded. So that wouldn't make any sense either. As we can see, it depends on the situation which minecart loading station we need. So make sure to watch the full video to find the perfect contraption for your needs. And I will show you which one is the best for what. So the next one is a quite common one. We need a detector rail and a powered rail. Next to the powered rail we place a block and another rail on top so that the rail faces upwards. Now we can break this rail. On top of the powered rail comes a hopper for loading the items. Now we build this little redstone circuit. Next to the detector rail comes a comparator facing towards a block. On top of the block we place a redstone torch and now we can place a piston by looking directly at the torch. Now we just need two blocks like this, a redstone torch and a redstone. A minecart now gets stuck below this piston. This contraption also works for chest minecarts, but it is once again super slow, so there are better alternatives. If the minecart is fully loaded, this detector rail will unpower the piston and the minecart gets sent back. But this only works if every single slot is completely filled up. And that's the main disadvantage. Let's say you've got 3 dragon heads and 4 stacks of diamonds. Now the minecart isn't considered as completely filled because there are 61 dragon heads missing for a full stack and no other items can get stacked on top of them. So this loader should only be used for the same type of items and large quantities, for example for a sugarcane or bamboo farm. The next minecart loader is best used for different types of items. On top of a power rail comes a chest, a hopper and another chest. We need a comparator behind the lower chest which powers a block. Two more blocks like this. This redstone powers the power rail and this one locks the hopper. Now there will always be just a single item in this chest. A hopper minecart can take this item out, so the redstone is off which unlocks this hopper, so that a new item gets filled in this chest and so on. If the minecart is full or the item doesn't fit in the hopper minecart anymore, the item in the chest will switch the bowed rail on. Now there's also a different way of building this, this is what I came up with. We just need a hopper and a chest. Some blocks like this. A comparator facing towards this block and a repeater. Now the minecart only gets sent back if there is an item left that doesn't fit in the hopper minecart. Let's say we just got 5 diamonds. The minecart would wait forever until the minecart is full. But let's say we want to send it back as soon as the chest is empty. This is what I developed the circuit for. We could add the comparator next to the chest facing towards the block with a redstone torch on it. Now we just need some redstone like this and that's it. With the circuit the minecart gets sent back if it is full or the chest is empty. Now the last variant is a faster version of this one I came up with. It can be used for not only hopper but also chest minecarts. We place a detector rail and a powered rail. Now we need a hopper facing down the powered rail on each side. And a rail on top so that it looks like this. A comparator, a block with a torch, a piston. And once again redstone torch and redstone. We put another hopper on top of this powered rail. Now there are 4 hoppers filling items into a minecart which makes loading way faster. 3 more hoppers like this. 2 rails. A hopper minecart on top of each one. And now we break the rail and push the minecart around so that each one is lining with at least 3 of them. Now we build a chest on top. The items from the chest get distributed between all 4 hoppers. This way we can fully load the chest minecart in about 2.8 minutes instead of 11 and a half minutes. But this contraption is once again best used for only one type of items. If this video was helpful leave a like and subscribe to my channel.